Hi, thank you, Chip. Um, I'm Patty Davis. I'm a mother of three children. My husband and I live in San Clemente and have been here for almost 14 years. I am very troubled by the use of this high burnout fuel at San Onofre. It puts my children at a much higher risk. And it puts them at a higher risk for a longer time. Wasn't nuclear waste bad enough to begin with? Did they have to go and find a way to make it worse? And what about the roof that is on that spent fuel pool? Certainly, yes, you have hardened sides and a concrete bottom, and you know, that sounds very good. But the roof? Not much help there. If you were to go back in time to when that plant was being designed and to when it was being proposed, I wonder if you could have gotten anyone in the community, anywhere in the state, anyone, to say, yes, we will be happy to have an atomic waste dump on our beautiful shore of California for 60 years, 100 years, 300 years. We don't know. And also, we're going to give you a generic plan when we get to that point. Well, we're not a generic community. My kids are not generic. My family's not generic. <laughs> and I just have to say, um, you know, climate change, change is a very big concern. But I think using nuclear as a way to solve that is the most expensive and the most reckless path we could go and follow. <clears throat> when my children were young and they would play outside or inside, wherever, often wherever they would go, a big mess would follow. They would have a great time having friends over. We often had a big crew of kids. And they would come up to me, Mama, we're going to go play outside now. And I would go over and take a look at the family room. Oh, oh, no, you're not. You're not going anywhere until you clean that up. <laughs> OK, well, that's what I challenge nuclear industry, the NRC. Clean it up. Don't spend any more money on promotion, on new nuclear stuff that is not proven. Clean up what we have now, the stuff that is threatening and putting risk at our community and to my children. Um, I just want to say that, yes, we do need a diversified energy portfolio. And I highly recommend wind, hydro, and a very wonderful nuclear reactor that we can all depend upon. It's safely located 93 million miles away. It's called our sun. Thank you.